Hi everyone, welcome back to part two. I went ahead and finished beating up this tree and now we're going to lace up our branches. For those of you who are new, what I do, you can, there is a video on it um, in a playlist. Right now, these move and if I were to put a hook in here, a uh, jump ring and a chain, you'd end up with big spaces and eventually your little branch right down here, it would snap. So, with that being said, like I said before, you can use 22 or 24 gauge wire to make this tree and to lace it. I've done both, and you'll also find that in a playlist, a side by side, where I did both trees at the same time. So now, because I did it with the 24 gauge wire, I'm gonna do my lacing, or wrapping, I refer to it, however. I don't measure it, I'm the queen of not measuring. What I do is take a piece of wire and go around the hoop. That's more than enough wire. You can cut it shorter. I like it long. My hands require me to be able to grasp. So, to keep our pretty tree from slipping in our hoop, we're going to move the branches as we go or as we see fit. And I think it looks pretty cool just like that. I'm going to leave it alone. So what I'm going to do is take my wire and insert it up into my hoop like this. Then I'm going to wrap it around the hoop. Bring it back up. And then I'm going to, I should have left that a little bit longer. Take that little piece of wire and cross over your branch. Next, we're going to bring it the same way we, we end every branch. We're going to take that little wire. This is why I like to leave it a little bit longer. I should have left it longer. We're going to Bring it up and just grab onto it. Yeah, I don't like short wire, guys. Let's see, did that work? It did. So now we're going to backtrack. Go back in front of your branch. And bring it behind. The reason we're doing that is because we need to cross over this branch right here and every single one thereafter. So you need to support your work. The way I find it easiest is to put it in your hand and let the wire go in between your index finger and your, your middle finger so you can support your work with your thumb. After you cross over that branch, bring your wire up. I'm still holding on to the first one. And go over the top. Flip it right up over your bead like that. So these wires now are crossing over the wire that's on the hoop. We're doing it at the neck right here and they won't move they won't slip and slide. Give it a tug, notice, hold on to your work, and go to your next one. My wire is coming in between my two fingers. I'm gonna give it a little pull. If you wanna slide your branches, this is the time to arrange them in a way that you like. Now, move your thumb over, cover those. Bring your wire up and pass it in between the, the next two like this wire is coming out from behind these two fingers cross it over now you see these don't move these will move especially when we put a jump ring on again support your work you don't want to break it take your wire and go in between the next two branches. 
the tutorial that I made in the playlist on wrapping or uh, lacing your tree it is very 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 detailed and I did it with a contrasting color so you can see what I did and why I did it a full explanation is there and once you watch it it's not very long once you watch it you'll understand why I do it and if you make a tree I'm pretty sure you'll do it too I don't make a tree ever without lacing my branches and without supporting my work. Now some of you do own some of my work and if you look at it, it's laced. I will in the foreseeable future open up a shop um, right here and my stuff will be available to buy. Right now it is not. I'm, I don't think that I have enough subscribers to invest in trying to learn another new thing. And uh, my newly wedded son, since Saturday, he, he can't do it. <laughs> he does not have the time. But I am on Etsy and it is the same MSJ Crafts Boutique. Things are there. A few, not many. I have not updated but it'll give you an idea of the kind of work that I've done in the past. But let's get back to this. In between every single branch, we're doing it all the way around this tree. Pass it down. You see, always support your work. It's a good habit. But if you break it, I made a tree and I broke it to show you how to fix it. And again, each one now is not going to move unless I move it. These, however, these move. This is how they break. This is very thin wire. You don't want to snap one. That would be unfortunate. I've done it. And I fix it and I show you how. That's the good thing about not editing. The unfortunate thing is I have tried to learn. I just can't grasp it. I, I don't remember. I forget. And even with all the notes, I have no clue. But I'm playing with my settings. I've learned a few things. I attempted to make a little banner for those of you who've been here. I don't know if you can see it. It um, doesn't look quite as nice as other people's on my phone anyway. I did it with a tree of life in the green with an owl. So take note of that. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. That's my effort. I'm doing it for you. I'm trying to be the best that I can be and we'll get this done the right way. So having said that, these wedding colors, I have many beads, different sizes and shapes in the green and the gold. So I'm playing with a few ideas. This one here I think I'm going to hang up on my board. My board is getting bare. For those of you who don't know what my board is, my husband created this workspace for me and I have a lot of my work just hanging up because I like to look at my stuff. And when I was in the hospital not too, too long ago, in the quiet emergency, life-threatening surgery, he brought some of my pieces in to hang so I could look at something pretty while I recovered. Gladly, right now, things are okay as far as my surgery. My hands, uh, we'll find out tomorrow. There we go. Now your tree is laced. The next thing, that's my husband's big mouth. I am recording. That's why I shut the door. Thank you. Well, leave it open. That looks so pretty. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add 
the little charm at the bottom and we're going to use this and they are also in a playlist of the things that I use the most. I actually need to purchase them again and more chain. What we're going to do is find the center of our roots and we're going to pop a jump ring right in there. See, that's part of not being able to edit. I apologize for that. If it was something simple, I could have paused, but it wasn't that simple. Welcome to my life. <laughs> okay, so I also don't close jump rings the right way because, not because I'm lazy, but because I'm not good at it. I really am not good, good at doing it, but I'll try for you. The right way is to hold them with two plier and just close it up like that. That worked. Actually, it worked out very well. Usually I just give it a squash and then mess around with it with my fingernails. It could be closed a tiny bit more. Now watch me bend it and then have to take it off. There we go. I'm not messing around with that. Now it looks like this. The reason you use two jump rings on this is because if you put one, it'll hang like that. And you'll see this thing here from my friends that make jewelry. Um, I hope you're back at it and doing well. Anyway, you have to put two to have it hang like this, not like that. Now what we're going to do, I've gone ahead and I've cut, this is chain link fence, chain link fence, it's a fence, chain link chain, it's not a fence. I've cut two pieces that are the same and I've connected them with a jump ring. You can cut them however long you want. This is how you're going to hang it. And again, this can be a little tricky. Sometimes I can do it on the first shot. If not, then we have to try it again. So what I'm thinking, let's see. Where would I like to put them? Maybe right there. I'll go in between this section. So that would be this branch. And this branch, that's Miss Abby. That's why my husband came in, to let her in. I shut the door, because he's watching TV, and he yells at the TV. <laughs> sorry, guys. No, I'm not sorry. This is me. It's just how I roll. So now I'm going to close this one the wrong way. I don't recommend it, because it doesn't always work. Like that. And that's good enough for my eyes. Okay, so there's one, one jump ring. Now, let's take the next one. So, you probably noticed that I did things a little tiny bit different on making this um, video. Reason being, I've been looking at my videos and they're, they're quite long, some of them. And um, they can get boring. I have a lot of skip through um, views, so that means that I'm not keeping your attention. And right now I'm focused, I'm determined to grow my channel. And the only way I can do it is to keep you interested, and that's what I'm trying to do. When I started this channel, my son. Who we live with he just bought this place and I was determined to have a successful channel so that I can help him with expenses more than what I already do because it's not much and he 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 does a lot for me so I'm gonna work real hard guys I need those thumbs up I need more subscribers 
and I need to be more diligent in my own productivity. And there we have it. How pretty. Get this out of my way. I will do a little video and take a photo. And if you like my work, give me a thumbs up. That really helps my algorithm. YouTube will show my stuff more than they already do. And there we have it. I'll see you soon, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.